Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make a scrumptious treat for for the holidays. You can use it at Thanksgiving. You can use it for, you know, bachelorette parties. Stick one of these in your stripper's thumb. They're gonna love it. They'll love it, I promise. You only need just a few simple ingredients. You need peanut butter, Ritz crackers, marshmallow puff, and meltable chocolate. This kind's really good because it comes in a tray. You can microwave it, melt it, and throw it away and you don't have to make a mess of your pots and pans. Beep. The first step of this diabolical plan only involves the peanut butter and the marshmallow cream. Basically what you're gonna do, mix it all together in a bowl. I use two cans of marshmallow cream. The peanut butter should be either a cup or to taste. You don't want it too salty, you don't want it too sweet. So just stir it together, give it a few tastes until it seems right to you. Then you should be gravy. And now we're gonna actually mix it. Spoiler alert, I have already pre-opened my marshmallow and my peanut butter. So yeah, if you ever buy stuff like this from the store and it does not have a safety seal, take it back. Somebody's had their nasty fingers in it. <laughs> Not this. Nobody's had their fingers in this. Ooh. That is really fluffy. I use two, two jars. Because I'm making two packs. Ooh, this sounded like it farted as it came out there. That was not me. That was definitely the marshmallow cream that made that sound. Just so we're all clear. As Martha Stewart would say, it would be rude to break wind during a tutorial video, darling. So I did not break wind. And I won't. This whole video I want. Okay, so we did two jars of marshmallow puff. That's what it looks like so far. Peanut butter will be to taste, but I kind of already know how much I need. So I'm not going to sit here and like taste it and all of that. I just like to eyeball it because I've made these before so I'm familiar with it. <clears throat> that looks good. Now the hard part. You gotta whip it together. It should be, it should all blend and be like a nice, smooth, creamy whip. Look at the colors. Okay. I don't bench press enough to stir this appropriately. So if you need like a bodybuilder or somebody to come help you, I understand. It's cool, but I'm gonna make do. Okay, a little more peanut butter. Just a little more peanut butter. And keep stirring it. Stir the pot. It's okay to stir the pot in the kitchen. You don't want to stir the pot amongst friends. Nobody likes a troublemaker. Okay, so once your mixture's finished and ready, the next phase is the most time consuming phase and this is where you actually will put the spread onto your crackers and make them into sandwiches and then we set them aside while we get them all assembled before we melt down the chocolate. So here are its crackers. You wanna just take two of them Get some of your mix. 
a little dab of do ya. Spread it on there really well. Okay. And then sandwich them together. And you're just gonna repeat that process like, you know, a thousand times or until you run out of crackers, whichever comes first. Rinse and repeat. Whoops. Don't break your crackers. If you do break them, you can like, um, you can just use the stuff to put them back together. Nobody will ever know. Cause they're gonna be dipped in chocolate. They're gonna be dipped in chocolate. All right, I'm gonna finish this out. <clears throat> Okay, so at this point, all of the cookies are filled with their peanut butter and marshmallow cream. And the next step will be to melt down the chocolate and get them ready to dip in. I've got a lot of cookies. And this was um, two boxes of Ritz, two cans of marshmallow cream, and two and a half cups of peanut butter. And it used it all. Okay, so now we get the chocolate ready. I've got vanilla and my favorite regular chocolate. And once again, these require no oven. And no mess because you can just microwave it and melt it down right in the dish it comes in. Look at that chocolate. And you just melt your chocolate in the microwave for like a minute. Get it out and stir it, break it up. It breaks apart much more easily. Keep stirring it, it will melt down. Okay, so now the chocolate is melted down and all that's left to do at this point is to take your cookie and dip them in it. You want to flip it, make sure they're covered. Just like that. And remove it. I keep mine on some wax paper because the last step after you've dipped them all is to put them in the fridge for like an hour just to help the chocolate harden. But yeah, this is it. This is the last stage right here, and these are almost ready. No oven. You just need the microwave to bust down your chocolate. Ooh, they look good. The chocolate looks good by itself, too. Mm. See? Look at that. Mm, creamy chocolate. Okay, and this is about what the final product should look like. And you can see I did like a little webbing design and mixed the chocolates after they hardened. Um, so yeah, these are ready to go, ready to serve. 